Welcome back to Subnautica, and in this video there are literal cars. And there we go, a car in Subnautica. Just judging by the outside of this, we can see it is supposed to be an underwater car, obviously. However, the real question is, does it drive on land at all? We'll have to see later. Looking at it in free cam, you can see the very detailed headlights. Holy, the inside of this thing is sick. Look at these seats and dashboard with these different markings on them. Anyway, the back of this just looks like some sort of submarine thing. Nothing special. Now it's time to drive this thing. Let's see. Uh, can't see my hands. And the steering wheel barely moves? I guess it's pretty fine, but let's take this to land and see what it does. Oh, and um, if you guys want the mod for this, it will be on the first pinned comment on this video and also the description. And there he goes on his way to the island. That was pretty, uh, stupid. Anyway, here is the moment of truth. Uh, so I guess it can't go on land. But this does actually give me an idea. Yeah, yeah, let me try it actually. So picture you're coming home from exploring or something and you need to park the car. So you do this. Honey, I'm home. Now you have a parking spot and you can just go inside like so. And then see the car just chilling there. Hmm. I wonder what happens if you drop it. Like I place it here, then remove this. Oh, nothing really. However, guys, I did notice some minuscule details with the car, so notice how nothing's here. But when you get in and out of the car, these things are popped out, then slowly go back in. Those little details are kind of cool in my opinion. Trying to drive these things on land are just impossible. Anyways, this was a short video, but if you could subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. I hope you enjoyed seeing this little car mod I found. Thank you for watching.